I'm Jake Ridenauer. We're here at Ridenauer Acres today cutting our 2013 corn maze. We started this project using a tractor and a planter outfitted with an FMX, autopilot, and field IQ. We planted the field using two directions, so planting it on a crisscross pattern in order to make the corn more dense and eliminate the opportunity for people to walk down the rows. After planting the field, it was time to go into the office and spend some time tweaking and designing our corn maze for this year. So we used FarmWorks mapping to do this. There's a couple different ways you can go about this. In previous years, I've actually taken a hand-drawn picture and scanned it and geo-referenced it into the software in order to then create lines to follow on the Yuma 2 or the FMX or however I was going to cut the maze. This year, however, because I did not really have a design in mind, I took and built a sampling grid over this field in FarmWorks mapping so that I had a reference in the background to go by, and then continued to draw the lines and build text or put text onto the screen in order to follow, again, using the Yuma 2 or an FMX. Once we completed our design using FarmWorks mapping in the office, this year we chose to use a Yuma 2 tied with a Ag GPS 162 to give me sub-meter accuracy once I was in the field. So we designed in FarmWorks mapping, took the design and pushed it out using Connected Farm to the Yuma 2. This can also be done with a standard USB drive if you uh, have a unit that's not tied to Connected Farm. Once that's completed, we can pull the design up here <clears throat> and this year I actually went out and scouted a few points within the field to make sure that my letters in the design were all going to be lined up in the field accordingly and to make sure that any real dry spots in the field or any spots that the corn wasn't growing so good that there wasn't a very important part of the maze in that area because we want the foliage to be as tall and lush as possible for this maze. So once we mounted the Yuma 2 and the 162 on the machine, uh, we did this via serial port. You can actually use multiple different GPS receivers. This AG 162 was chosen again because of its sub-meter capability. The Yuma 2 this year, I chose it because of the screen size and its ability to be read in the daylight. The Trimble Nomad as well as the Juno T41 are also great units. Both have the ability to have a serial port plugged into them, but I like the idea of having the larger screen out on the lawnmower because there, there is a lot of vibration going on and we still need to be able to see where we're going. Historically, this farm has always been a grain farm. We have a fresh market sweet corn operation as well, so it was easy for us to use the technology that was already in place here with the FarmWorks mapping and the GPS equipment. But we wanted a way to connect with the general public on a different level and agritourism is the answer for that. We want the ability for a family to be able to come out onto a farm for a day and be able to spend the day learning about agriculture and seeing different things. So along with the corn maze we have a three acre pumpkin patch, we have a hay ride all set up, and we'll have a couple commercial bounce houses that we've invested in for kids. So, we're located right outside of Angola, Indiana. Please check out our Facebook page at Ridenauer Acres to check out the progress of this operation and how it's coming along. We'll be open most weekends in September and October, and we hope to see you soon.